All right, so getting ready to pour our last structural pour. We've got everything ready to go now. I uh, promised I'd show some video of what this all looks like uh, in the end here. So today we'll hopefully get this done. And here's our edge for the concrete. We have all of our rebar in place. We looped the, the middle mesh over the top and tied it in on both sides so that as the concrete slumps, it pulls that mesh tight on the top. It doesn't slide. We've had the problems in the past with that sliding. And we've got the chimney exit right out there for future use. <clears throat> and then as we get up to the front, we use the existing concrete as a brace uh, for the front. So hopefully this all goes well and we'll be done with the structural concrete pours. All right, from the inside, here's what the bracing looks like. We have two by eight running full length with two by six beams, uh, T-posts running up to each one of those beams. And then those support both the six by eight beams as well as the two by eight inner beams between those. So those temporary uh, supports there are going to be removed later, but that's just to help prevent sag in between the main beams. So those are tied down on top and then tied to the wall on one side, um, tied in the center up to the peak, uh, and then down to the other side on top of the other beams. So once we get this poured, these walls stay in place for 28 days, and then we'll take them down and have a nice clean ceiling, hopefully.
There's the finished pour with a brush finish. Everything went just as planned other than, as always, when you're pouring on light deck, it appears. It's extremely difficult to estimate the proper amount of concrete. So we were about six yards higher than estimated. So we always plan on a makeup truck and uh, we're just about five and a half short um, from the original calculated estimate. Um, that's pretty normal. Every pour we've done has been has been off by a percentage. Um, some of that's the help. This ended up being, I asked them to go a little thin as they were raking it down. They ended up going thick. Um, so, you know, when you're an inch thicker than you're supposed to be, uh, then it's going to be, it's going to be more concrete. Um, but it's done. So that's the last structural pour for this one.